Well, I'm back. I have no idea what happened there. Um, don't know if it has something to do with my Wi-Fi. Must be that. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to Talking Sim. For the second time in a row, what happened earlier, I have no idea. But hey, I'm back on the track, Jack. Um, first one was shut down. Don't know what happened to the Wi-Fi, you know. But hey, let's let's go again. And how are you today? Today on the the 9th of October, 2021. Um, I lost that bit of the show, but hey, we still got the same show going. Waiting for Lester to come back, waiting for Jacqueline to come back, waiting for Beatrice to come back, waiting for the people to come back again and to see if we can get back on the track, Jack. I had to change over um, onto my data, uh, which is unlimited. Um, and listening to some nice uh, jazz, smooth music coming from South Africa with Theta Cash. Hope you like it as well. And um, sometimes these things do happen. I think I only can blame Virgin for it. I can't blame anyone else. I can't blame Mark Zuckerberg. Can't even blame COVID. Can't blame, blame no one. Um, when it comes on to Wi-Fi. We're living in the social media world now. The social media world is something which um, you've got to be on top of it. Big time. You know what I'm saying? Let's hope I can get back Leicester. Let's see if I can stop this spinning. Spinning around. <laughs> Hello. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's going down? What's uh, going you down? You have to be careful what you say. As soon as you said a name, you were cut off. Which name did I say again? Oh, uh, you wanted say? to say so you can cut off again. <laughs> say it again. Say say the name. Well, you said you said Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> 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 Happen now. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I think I, I kept seeing us spinning around with everybody today, and you know, so there are different groups, internet um, provider which I can use on. So I just, I was actually just switching it, and then it shut down. So I think it was from my side. So, so I said, today I won't blame Mark or anyone. Actually, I was saying I wasn't blaming him or anyone today. <laughs> and then you, you know. Didn't you know, <laughs> you know. Well, how are you? How is the family doing? Well, everybody's cool. You know, I, I had some some nice walk today. I, I walk with my daughter, looking at ducks and I swans. Saw. And so beautiful. She looked like her mother, huh? Yes, dead some for her mother. Our female me. <laughs> our female me and dead some for her mother. <laughs> <laughs> are you? How is it? How is it over there? What, what? What are you drinking? What are you drinking? I am drinking Crown and Ginger. Crown and Ginger, right? Crown and ginger. So what what is special about the crown and why is what, what's what's the crown? What's the crown on it? Well the crown is a whiskey and it's very mild and I like it. And the ginger is for my stomach to make okay. sure I build up my immune system. So that I'm, is going a, I'm going healthy. No, the immune the, the immune system is, is, is serious. Uh, we need we need immunity from everything, immunity from the viruses and immunity from the pressures and uh, the social media pressures because we're going to touch on this a bit later talking about the pressures of work the pressures of social media and how do you navigate these things you know which are coming at you um because it's like different viruses come out in different forms you know but let me just welcome everybody um official um that you know today i have to go and do my my test glasses because i'm getting some different glasses because I just keep throwing away this one. It's not making any sense sometimes, you know. I'm putting it on. I'm, I'm going like this. Like, I'm a cancer. Even Steve Wonder can't see better than me. <laughs> oh, that have to do with things or it just the age? No, it has to do with the glasses. Because the last person, the, the, the last young guy, and this wasn't a woman, a guy that said to me, I look like 29 in church. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, hey, I'm, I'm getting much younger each day, okay. you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Straight out of Ochi, you know what I mean? Uh, okay. So it's the it's the ultra young wife that you have that keeping you young. 
<laughs> yes, 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 definitely. You have to give credit where the credit is due, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? So what's going on what's going on in the States there? Well, you know, um, as you said, with social media and all this stuff coming at you, you have to know what to filter out. So I have life that I decided I'm going to live my life. So I have been staying away from the news. My TV haven't been turned on for a minute now. And um, I try to stay away from the social media. Um, all this stuff that's happening, I try not to overload myself with it. Honestly. Mm. Um, because there's so much stuff uh, you're looking at every day and this is something that you have to learn for your mental health do you want to take all this in mm. so that i've been staying um there is the the the, the insurrection that happened um they're still investigating that they have named more names they're locking up there so they're going to be locking up people that was leading the the march i don't know if it's the trump mm. or whatever but it's people they're looking into um looking at some of the leaders that at the meeting that day so that was the last thing that i looked at okay 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 well it, it's interesting the other world is going on now because um it's like it's like you have to zone out uh, yes, and that's what I did last yeah, week. Yeah. Last week I zone out. Last week because yeah. I had to. I have school and I have work and I have mm. personal life, so I had to zone <clears> out <throat> the social media. Yes. And at the same time, you still have to maintain you and what you want to filter in. It's that's interesting. But well, let me just go back to uh, Jacqueline Affleck. She said her connection is poor and she's sitting at the restaurant. But Jacqueline took up my challenge in skipping and. Uh, push up and slash press up oh uh, but the, the the fantastic thing about jacqueline is that she went full on without even a skipping rope and was skipping without a skipping rope i mean you yeah. need to go onto her, her yeah you need to go onto her facebook page or instagram I page will. man i yes. will and i'm gonna I, I guess you send me a challenge as far as the wobble and i'm gonna send oh, the wobble. that <laughs> i'm gonna take up the wobble <laughs> and, I, I, um, <laughs> the uh, jumping rope, you, we say skipping rope in Jamaica. Jump, um, jumping rope is an American. Um, is, a, is the what the American said? But that don't make sense. That no, no wonder O'Neill is coming to me with his foolishness about jumping rope. At least Gaza and I agree on one thing today. You know. Well, well, well. So, so what you just said, um, I need to defer what you just said because you know that when you go into court. Um, you have to look at um, different side of the of the fence. Yes, and you can't say that don't make sense. You can't say that makes sense with all due respect. With all due respect, Your Honor, that don't make sense. Well, it doesn't make sense to you. Doesn't mean it doesn't make sense to the rest of the world. You, exactly. It doesn't make sense to you. But it's a it's a it's a whole world we live in, different cultures that we have to embrace. So, so skipping rope is a better one then. So you would say skipping because we are from Jamaica. That's what we were taught in America. It's jump rope. Jump rope. Jump yes. rope. That just don't make no sense. Jump it rope. It doesn't make sense you to jump, you. Because... Yeah, jump rope. Anybody, anybody, Jacqueline, does that make sense? Anybody over there, jump rope. You ain't jumping rope. It's, that. it's skipping, man. Just skip. Skip, skip, skip my loo, skip my loo in the morning, you know? Who do you skip with? I skip with a, uh, 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 a skip. A skipper. <laughs> Because you are jumping and you're jumping over the rope. Yes, 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 yes. I'm a good night. I'm about to gain. Oh, she's gonna gain some weight. I, oh, oh, she's she, eat now. she's she's smart. I know what she did. Just so she don't feel guilty tonight, she went and went to it full on. That's 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 the way to do it. You know what I'm saying? Do you do it like that? <laughs> <laughs> so, so when I like every Saturday, I make sure every Saturday I make sure I go to the gym or I go walk. I walk in the morning, but I make sure I go walk before I join or go to the gym because mm. they say alcohol put on pounds. So I make sure mm. I'm gonna drink. So I yeah. work for. You know, um, just just talking about the bit about the, the the social media pressures and all those sort of things because. I saw a couple of videos during the course of the week where people are talking about um, the 
the pressures of wanting to zone out. Let's get into this thing about zoning out. Zoning out of work, the, the constant pressure, zoning out of social media. I mean, when, when so Facebook and all those platforms were shut down a few days ago, a lot of people were saying, wow, it was a, a relief <laughs> in a way because it was like it took it out of their hands. You know, you remember when COVID came at the same time and people had to shut down because the system shut them down. It took it out of their hands where they had to now stop. They had no choice but to stop. So a lot of people were saying, wow, it was a blessing in disguise at the same time. It was. It was. It was. I want to tell you, it was a very productive day for me in my office because when I look, I was like, wait a minute. Is it that my staff, when they're home, they're not really working? The day that Facebook and Instagram were shut down, I, I, I saw more productivity. Really? So I, was, I, I had a meeting after that and I was saying to them, wait a minute. You know, today was, look at this, look what you all did. So... I said, okay, maybe, just maybe I have to bring you all back in the office now because it seems like social media is taking over. And I'm guilty too. I mean, I'll be in meetings and I'm still on my phone. Mm. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll be in Zoom and yes, my phone is right there. I'm on Instagram and, 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 and stuff like that. And, and because you're in a Zoom meeting, you're really not interacting as when you're in the office. Right. So it, and I, I, at that day, I have so many meetings. I did not know that Facebook was down. Um, Instagram, I, I thought I was blocked or something because I, I tried to get out and I could not get out. And I was like, maybe this is what it is. I'm blocked. So I just put mm. my phone away. So that day, I actually get some stuff done. I actually start a new business that day. <laughs> well, I actually thought that it was uh, my provider, which was EE. -E. I, I was... On the phone to them, I said, listen, man, the Wi-Fi with you guys is just not working. Totally not making any sense. Totally not making any sense. Until I start to see things popping up. Yeah, but it was a busy day still. And, uh, and that's good. But, you know, back to the whole thing about the social media bit. It's like, and even the work bit, it's like everyone somehow wanting this zoning out period. But at the same time, I believe a lot of people somehow has allowed the social media and these things to take over them. That is why people say sometimes I need a time out. But really and truly, is that the best way? Because, or some people say I'm coming off social media period, when really and truly, that's the way, that's the way our things are now. So it is, is it about giving a, 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 a period of coming off or how to manage it? Well, you have to look at both sides. Um, mm. when, when we were in lockdown, um, social media for me, as far as when the TikTok came on, there was a lot of like um, books or, or situation that I was interested into uh, reviewing. And I went on YouTube and was researching, at, uh, looking at some stuff on YouTube. How do you do this? D DIY. I was doing a lot of DIY through, um, through social media. Um, mm. TikTok was some stuff I looked at. So to see other people's opinion that mentally was helping me right mm. um the, the mental status of of, of the, the world right now um suicide is up among male um children so it seems like females are coping more with what's happening than the male and the kids mm. but as i said, kids are committing suicide i work in a children's hospital so the fact is that the mental part of it escalates after COVID. A lot of the social media is helping a lot of people to cope. And at the same time, it's also, it's, everything is good and bad. Everything you have to do in moderation. Yeah. Well, good so, afternoon. Uh, yeah, sorry. Mm. I'm sorry? No, go, I, was just saying, I was just saying hi to natural beauty there. Um, okay. Keep, keep so going is it there. helping you? Are you using it to help you? Or is it like taking over your life where you get... It's addictive. I yes. find it addictive. What I start doing now, which last night I did not. I, I put my phone in my living room and do not take it to my bedroom. I took it to my bedroom last night. I don't know what I was doing. Fell asleep with my phone. And 6 o'clock this morning, you woke me up. I woke and you up. Yeah, so I wasn't... The only reason I didn't get mad with you was because your daughter was there. 
Oh, I didn't wake up. It's just because you had the phone next to you. And I was doing my, I was going about my business. And I seen people think similar <laughs> calling you yeah, yeah, at six o'clock. <laughs> but the fact <laughs> is that I normally put my phone in my living room and do not bring it to my bedroom because yes. it's hurt. It alerts me. And also, I set my alarm for 5 o'clock in the morning. No, I, I'm not one of those get up and such the stoop. I have to go to the living room to turn it off. Therefore, I have to get out my bed at 5 o'clock. Right. So it depends on how social media, mm. how you use your phone or whatever the case is. It's up to you to uh, mental, with organizational skills with your time management. So what's wrong with turning off the mobile phone? I mean, I've got, I still have this thing here, which is the landline. Which nobody really answers. But I haven't seen a landline in years. But the, the landline is there. I mean, so therefore, the the mobile phone has become very important because that's the one that you can get a call from unless you have a landline. When my mother is calling me from Jamaica, she doesn't bother call that now. She just call on the WhatsApp, on the video. Right. And she's Maybe. actually speaking. She's calling video and I have a phone to her ears. And I'm saying, Ma... I'm act your, your, your phone is to your ears, you know what I mean? I see you on video, but I'm seeing your ears. That's my grandma. But the fact is that I don't have a landline, so that's the reason I don't turn my phone off because my daughter, um, I've, with the two kids, and if she needs help, because her husband is deployed, he's military. So yeah. therefore, in case there is an emergency, I have the phone on for her. Because if someone dies or someone's sick, I'm... Tomorrow is another day, but for my daughter, if she needs me right away, I need to be available. That's the only reason my phone stay off. If it wasn't for that, my phone would have been off. Well, but for yeah. most, uh, well, for most, well, for most persons now, I mean, people don't have landline and they have, um, well, not to be to still have landline, but the phone is becoming somewhat needed. That's why they have to have it in their, their bedroom next to them because it is just like another phone. It's a phone now. But yes. at the same time, it's how do you balance it? Because I've been, like me personally, one time, because I'm always, and I, I, I use social media. Listen, before Facebook came in, I was doing emails, blocks of emails with groups of persons, hundreds of people, I'm just emailing. And then when, when you had um, the whole thing regarding uh, privacy came in, now that came up, and then social media came in with Mark Zuckerberg. And Ray Ray. I remember those times when Mark Zuckerberg was there, you could speak to him easily those time in the early stages and then after a while people would be wanting that i need to respond to them instantly oh i'm a public figure blah 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 then after a while i got faced here and said listen i don't need to respond to nobody i don't have to respond to nobody at all i know i'm like this now i don't i, I don't have to respond to nobody i'm not <laughs> nobody controls me in a, in a sense but before once it was it felt like it could really control you but now i just shut it off and I think, I, and I think one has got to train themselves, in a way. But it's addicted. It's not easy, because mm. I have been a victim of being addicted to my phone, to social media. I have been there. We have. I'm addicted to social media. I have schoolwork, yes. and, and I'm on the phone same time. So it, it's addicted, and you have to learn time management and how to just shut it down. And that's what I'm practicing right now. Not perfect. I try my best to leave my phone in the living room so I don't have to look at it the first thing in the morning. It is mm. a so it's one of those situations that people are, you have to manage yourself. It's, it's time yeah. man. It's time management. What oh, happened? Land so go on. What are you say? No, I was just saying it's time management, and it's 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 um because even with the bullying that used to goes on with the children. And I remember when I used to manage when my kids can go online and I have a, a behind the scene, I looked at every website my kids visit. I make sure there's certain website they cannot go to because I manage it in the back end on my computer those days. No, I don't know if parents are doing that. No, that's what I did with my kids. I, I manage where they go and make sure I control where they can go. But now with mm. all the situation out there, are parents managing their kids right now? Because kids are... Tell me why a 10-year-old or a 9-year-old know how to commit suicide. Mm. Mm. Because of social media. Yes, yes. No, that, that, that is... Right. I mean, the, the, the recent report that came out by a whistleblower with Facebook, and, and she said that 
Facebook knows and have done studies to show that the social media, especially Instagram, do have a, uh, can affect their mental health. I don't know if you saw that lady there, which was talking about it, and um, with the recent shutdown as well. And so Facebook has been in the news about that. Um, right. So, so the whole aspect of social media and because of presentation, that is why the other day I was doing, a, when I was doing my live, I made sure I showed where I was failing when I was actually doing my skipping. Because sometimes it's, I go, I keep doing, I do it well, and sometimes it takes me a while before I can get the flow, really. And oh, I was so saying this. Are you not perfect? I thought you were. <laughs> no, I'm not perfect. <laughs> so I, I was actually showing it. Let's say it's bad. I was actually just showing um, that, you know, we, we, we're not always perfect, but based on how social media, majority of persons who are so called influencers, they only show the best, the best side. side. You know? Yeah. Lester, am I getting an echo? Lester? The blogging yeah, guy. I'm hearing it. Vlogging God. Doing? Hi, Beatrice Goddess. How are you doing? So, so I'm okay. awesome. Well, hang on a second. Beatrice God, Blogging God, and I'm going to add another name. Writing Goddess. Come on, listen. I have to bring in the Writing God, you know what I mean? Because, you know, I might as well have all the gods around, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> bring in the no, night. You, the you night. are among greatness. You are among greatness. Cheers. Yes. Uh, Orch Orchigod. <laughs> Orchigod. <laughs> so, so let me ask you. Let me ask you a question, Silver. And don't you find it ironic that the day that we have the whistleblower talking about Facebook was the day that he shut it down? <laughs> well, I, I was I was watching a show once, and um, the show was talking about a guy in a similar position as the the top dog at Facebook, and. Somebody in that movie um, wanted to um, get a message to the top guy to say that the business and the social media experience is actually killing off people and messing up people because I think he messed up his family. And then the guy who was in charge of the, the equivalent to the Facebook, his people were protecting him, didn't want this guy to get to him. And said, no, don't talk to him. The guy said, I want to talk to him. And I said, no. And that guy, the crazy guy, was actually have a gun and arrested a couple of his people. So the guy now, who is a top dog, like the Facebook equivalent, Mark equivalent, said, I want to get to this guy. And his people say no. So he said what? He just grabbed a, a computer. I a laptop, told you do not said, mention the name. What's that? You saw you start spinning again. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay. Anyway, the guy touched a button on his laptop. He called it the God button. <laughs> that button, that button was able to tap into anybody's account. Oh, and he said, and he said, this is the first time I think he was going to use it. And he said, go like this. Okay, okay, I'm ignoring everybody now. I'm going to do it myself. Bring me this. And he went, Pew! and he was able to tap into Gaza right there and find the guy. Simple as that. I believe that exists. Anyway, that's just my saying there. You know, right, Lester? But, but silver. But silver. Mm. And I said, I said this to Sarah Shelley a few years ago. I said, mm. how can a company change a settings on your phone without you accepting that change? Mm. I remember, you know, Facebook never had a voice. It never had video when it just started, you know. Facebook had a limited of 750 characters when they could have typed text when it just came out. Yeah. But what I'm saying, they were able to change the features on your phone and my phone and everybody's phone mm. without you accepting a change of features. Do you know? Do you know that of recent days there was a big thing about FB changing some features, and it wanted everybody to agree to it, and a lot of people started to move across to the new one called T TG the Telegram. Remember? Yeah, and signal, signal the plane, signal the plane. Now, I don't know. This is just my conspiracy mind is now saying I wouldn't be surprised if something fundamental went on during this lockdown period, man. <laughs> I agree. I agree. So we're going to 
going through training right now and I went to a couple cyber security cyber security training because I'm been hitting at the hospitals from America. Okay. Cyber security training. And even as a leader for my department, I can just sit right here and watch my staff just whatever they're doing or whatever the case is. It's it's the technology that we have right now, it's way advanced. I travel a lot. And when I travel, when people are saying they're not taking the COVID because they can the, the COVID vaccine because the conspiracy is um the the, 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 the vac the, 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 the v the v the j the v you and all that stuff it's right it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's bs you know why it's bs they already have all your information they already know all everything about you once you're in the system so i travel a lot and when i travel I, I don't use my password. I go to there. I just put my face to the to, to a camera they have, and I go through. I I, I have a a, 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 um, a a VIP pass that I sign up for, and yes. I just look in the mirror, and that's it. I go right through. I don't even have to worry about my luggage because I'm pre-checked. Mm. Go ahead, Gaza. But, 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 I, but, I, I, but I'm sorry. I, I I have to put in my face because as I'm doing weights and lifting and getting slimmer. It doesn't recognize my face sometimes, so I want to be original, you know. <laughs> with a, with a, first of all, more for big up um, natural beauty, Mister Kizzy just jam big up Kizzy. Um, no, you see, the, the, the thing earlier, earlier I heard Vita you talking about the, the bullying thing and and the consequences of social media bullying. Dave Chappelle has a new special out now, The Closer. Mm. And he spoke about the transgender community. And that one of the transgender, a popular transgender comedian, supported him and he's open for him. And the, the community bullied that person so much to a point of that the person committed suicide. Mm. Watching a special with um, Willow Smith, Will Smith's daughter, and Paris Jackson, Michael Jackson's daughter. Okay. And Paris, Paris Jackson said that she was bullied. Persons online were, were saying, why don't you kill yourself? She said, you're talking hundreds of thousands of people are saying, kill yourself. You have to die like your father. You're a free okay. And she attempted suicide maybe like wow. nine times. Wow. You know? Wow. So it is, it, is, it is a real thing. Like, like for me, all I do is, is turn off a phone, you know, and, and, and social media going, you know. It, it's, mm. it, it's, it's, not, it's not that big of a deal. Simple. Or block the person. No, no, no. Look, you cannot block everybody, you know. But what I'm saying, to click on that app on your phone, the, the, the blue app or the, the pink app, Instagram or Twitter, there's a choice that you need to click on it to see what it's saying. If you don't click on it, you know, um, it's just like when Facebook is shut down, um, social media shut down. I never know, you know. Mm. I was I, so busy with my day. I did it's not. Is when somebody said to me that um, if you check if if my Instagram at work or if my if my um my Facebook at work or WhatsApp at work, I said, what are you talking about? Yes. And if you check, did they, if, did, if they, somebody, did, they, did they contact you via WhatsApp? No, okay. they said it to me in person. So, okay, you know, I was checking. But 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 I but I'm saying. I, I'm saying I wasn't even aware of it. I didn't even bother me. You know, mm. it could have locked down for, for ten years. You know, really, you know, really bother me. You know, some of, one of the things I thought about, and welcome to Camp, um, um, Miss Swaby. Um, one of the things that I, I was thinking about was that okay, I've got lots of videos, lots of pictures, and stuff like that. But one of the things I do, even these shows now, I actually download them. I got an app where I download them and put them on my um, thingy there. I keep them. Um, and I file them, back them up. I've got thousands of videos. And at one point, I was saying to myself, listen, if everything goes, I don't know, because sometimes, you know, have you ever decluttered your house? Have you ever go through some paper, something, you look and say, hang on a second. I'm not, I've not looked at this for about millions of years. I don't need this. You just do a good brute thing and just shut it down and just dash it to it, dash it to it, dash it to it. And sometimes you look at it and say, hang on a second. I don't want all of these things. You know, all of these things... Um, all these pictures, all these images. Sometimes it's a natural cleaning out process at the same time. And, uh, but, but I do sense, and, and I love to hear what people say, uh, people on the live as well. How do you deal with 
the advent of social media, how much it has become a part of you. I know natural beauty says that we somehow think that with this advancement of technology, that is still not good. But what's the other way? Is it going backwards to telegram and to, you know, but this, oh, what it is, I don't know if let's say you still have that, we still have two, two thin, thin with a okay. piece of string. And and say hello over there. You don't know those things, Lester. In country. Kingston, in Kingston, we had um, telecommunications of Jamaica Limited. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. In yeah. Kingston. Okay. Yeah. So we are. Okay. But, yeah, but the fact is that the fact is that I welcome um, the technology that where we are. Uh, and guys, it's nothing new. Yeah. Nothing new. I put up a book the other day. The um the tablet, uh, which one was it? And technology is nothing new. Everything that we are doing now was found back way four thousand four thousand six thousand years ago. Technology is nothing new. Technology that we are experiencing now. I love the advancement of it. Um, mm. artificial intelligence is the next big thing that um people need to start learning um technology because. What do you want to believe it or not? Technology is going to mm. replace a lot of us. So you have to mm. advance in the system and <clears throat> work with it. Yes, for everything there is the pro and the cons, right? But you have yes, to be advanced. Yes. For some time, I'm amazed by you. You are, um, as uh, five minutes, you already edit um, the reels and send it to us. I was like, wow, does this man sleep? But it's technology that you have <laughs> used. Right. So, so the Vita, Vita, what, what on the Vita? So Anna, I'm smart. I'm phone smart. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, the, the phone is in my hands, and uh, I have a daughter who, who, at the age of nine, she started to be my um, my mentor in showing yes. me some quick ways how to do things on the phone. Yes. So uh, you, you have seen her. You have seen her. To, yeah, you have seen yes. her today. Yeah, she's shown me. That's I why sometimes. You know, I, I do things very quickly now with my fingers, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, <laughs> so in a way... But, 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 but Silburn, mm -hmm. you, you know, um, Vita and I were talking about this off here, and a lot of people don't know that, that the, the United States military technology is seven years ahead of the world's technology. Seven years ahead. So oh, things well, that we... That's, that's what the public know now. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, well, uh, 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 some people are the public. The, right. the thing that the thing that they do, a lot of things that we take as common domestic or household I, um, items or appliances or new technology that we have now is something that the U.S. military no longer needs, and they have a a, a, a more advanced, um, yes. more yes. advanced version of it. Yes. But let us go back to a simple thing. If you take up a candy bar, right? And you open the candy bar, the wrapper. Most candy bar inside of it has a foil, foil type thingy, mm. right? Now, when when the when the army went into Vietnam and Korea and, and 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 those times, they had to have um food and they couldn't cook because if you have a fire, you fire the light will give away your location. Yes. So they had to have food that served them for a long time, but but in a package that can that can preserve the food. So that's how the inside of these packages these candy bars and stuff like that have the, the aluminum or foil type thing to preserve the food nasa they sold that to nasa that, that's how nasa now feed their their astronauts in space when they went into when they first went into into orbit and then they alleged it went to the moon they used that paste and and the same tube mm. now they sold that technology now to to the private sector so the yes. private sector no manufacturing is using that, that, that type of thing. When you look at cellular phone technology, remember when the guys used to read it in, the man of the, the naps of the back and in read it in for an airstrike? Yes. That was a cellular technology. This is from the 50s. Mm. <laughs> Just in the 40s and the 50s, right? And then read it in for an airstrike. So they've been using satellite and cellular technology for a long time. We are recently being introduced to cellular technology, mm. right? The CD, the compact disc, and all these things, right? They, they have been using these things for a long time. But let, let's look at the movies. Yes. Star Trek and Star Wars. 
when in 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 Star Wars or Star Trek, when they are speaking to the enemy ship, they do it by video conference on the big yes. screen in front of in the big screen in front of them. Yes. Star so, Wars is that we have Star Wars <laughs> from the seventies. Yes, you're right about that. <laughs> right. But let's let, let, let us look at Han. Look at Star Trek with 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 with, with, with um John Luke Picard. Um, I don't William Shatner the first yes. first. Yes. William Shatner. Remember, uh, and 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 um, Spock. Is that, is that Spock and David. and and yeah. No, remember they had they had the Cleon. They had yes. the handheld visors, right? So they could see somebody. They could talk to somebody. See the person on the, on the handheld device. Mm. They could calculate the weather. They, they could calculate uh, mathematics. They could do so many things on that handheld device. This is a, a a TV series from the seventies. So we are just stepping into something which has been around for a while. Exactly. Mm. So 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 what? So you remember growing up there was the Jetsons? Yes. Oh yes, I'm waiting for that. Yes. that's happening soon. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. You know. So 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 these so 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 Hollywood, Hollywood um, has sensitized us over the years slowly. To what is to come. That's why when, when certain things come, it don't seem foreign or far fetched to us because through films and advertisement and, and, and through, through media, they have been sensitizing us little by little by little by little with these things. You know? Um, so it is even, even like the, the wireless headphones, if you remember, Spot them. They used to have a, a earphone in them ears in Star Trek and all these things, right? And they used to talk to each other through, through that and small earphone yeah. in them ears, wireless, you know, but by remote. Yes. Oh, naturally, we just say, what about Enemy of the State with Will Smith? But Enemy of the State is in the nineties, um, mm. when, when all of the information is out long time. But, but my understanding is a natural beauty. Because when Enemy of the State, we talk about who monitor the monitors. You remember that bit there at the end of the show? Yeah. Who monitor yeah. the monitors when they're monitoring you? Just like the fact checkers yeah. who, are, who I'm having a problem yeah. with, you know what I'm saying? They keep jumping in your inbox and trying to tell you how to think. Like, you know, in a sense, like, like they are the most super intelligent of the world, you know what I'm saying? But always accept the, this simple, simple rule for them company. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's, 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 we're, it's, just, it's just like your passport. Your passport is just like your, your visa. They tell you that you're a holder of this visa, you're a holder of the passport. Mm. Even your land, you're not a land owner, but a land holder. <laughs> you know what I mean? And look here, we can go, we can go deeper into in, into this. But the thing is, there's a there's a there's a technological war happening now, and we have to be aware of it. We can't be consumed of it. Why is it that they want to have a smart washing machine? Why do you want to have a smart fridge? Why your fridge? Why your fridge is able to order your groceries from the shop? You know, and it's, it's been delivered to you. In Japan, they they have these things in Japan. You know, where a robot carry to your house. You know, a yes. robot. And that's yeah, what a I robot with um artificial intelligence. Robots, robot gonna replace a lot of us. Because I um I order my grocery, I don't go to the supermarket. I order my grocery delivered to me, and I have Alexa who will say, "Vita, it's time to order um this, or it's time to order that." You are running out of this because I'm supposed to use it a certain way. Exactly. Um, by certain time. Key, you don't need a key to go into your house now. I you just punch punch numbers. You know what I'm saying? So you have to get with technology. Because I remember when I was training you have floppy disks, you have um C D. Who use those anymore? You have the jump drive. You don't even need that. You back it up in the cloud and that's where we are. Well, well, well Vita, Vita, I remember um going to Exodus four by four dance, going to Super Saint um on Low Clean, going to Metro Media Party and stuff like that. And they used to have when you see them a setup. And it, this, the setting up of the speaker boxes and the sound system was a whole four, day. five hour, a whole day, day operation. Up, yes. Right? No, when, when selectors are go party, them carry them thumb drive. Yes. <laughs> carry yes. them thumb drive. 
and 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 maybe and the person promoting have a computer maybe if they need one that's yeah. what technology is so if you're not advancing technology although you have the pros and cons as far as um it's it's sometimes good and bad if you're not advancing technology and taking classes and educating yourself you're going to be in the left behind series mm. you're going to be left what, behind but 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 you know that they don't have to have speakers anymore at parties anymore they have the headphones and so the DJs they're playing so you're not there's no speaker your no, headphone everybody. is connected no everybody speaker. have their headphone so the DJ are play and you're hearing <clears> it in your ears and you dance right and so, the positive oh, side yeah so outside of that there's no noise there's no noise pollution I deal with the noise abatement and all those sort of things. That's right. Absolutely, so yeah. just shut down. When I was in Jamaica, there was house parties, but the police could not find where the parties at because what happened is that you have the headphones, so it's quiet. So you locked up in your house, and nobody knows there's a party going on because you exactly. have headphones. It's technology. So if you are not making sure that you're advancing technology and advance in the computer that we are using now, you're gonna be left behind. You need to up, uh, upgrade your skills. You need to upgrade you to make sure that you are ready for the new technology. I'm going to try getting Corey Hyde into this um, the whole aspect of um, the, the technolog technological world it is. What about those who are saying that I'm not going to fall in line with this whole new world order? You're going to you be know? left behind. Corey, how are you, buddy? Welcome. What are you saying? Mm. Yeah, great question. Great, great discussion. I tell you, yeah. you, know, you do, you do yes. every yes, big sir, respect. My brother from Cross the Pond. What in face, man? <laughs> you know, I'm touching, I'm touching mm. the technology from Vietnam. I tell you, that mm. was really, really a good, a good analogy there. But Silver, I must say, we're in the age of big data. Yes. Big data. All right, no. All right, mm. right. Data yes. analytics, that is where the world is going right now. All right. So AI, as it relates to artificial intelligence, I wonder if you can hear it. What if you can it hear it? There's buffering, but keep talking. There's a, will... I, I see some buffering going on. Can you hear me clearly? Keep talking, Corey. You see that buffering? Yeah. Where are you? Are you using flow? All right, all right. So, <laughs> right, artificial intelligence. Um, no, not where I am. But I, I, I heard that in this country, it is, it, it, it is not as efficient wait, as wait, flow wait, 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 or, wait, wait, or any wait, other wait, network wait, that you wait, might yourself at okay, Digicel okay, is, 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 wait, is the wait. preferred preferred network. <laughs> Yes, yes. Right, it, oh no, always draw me out on this thing, you know, Silver. You, you, you never know. I'm in Canada. <laughs> you see, last week I was supposed to be with him in the UK. Let me, let me share the virgin. Let me share that. And I'm gonna call you. Keep that one there. We'll talk another time. Yeah. T tell us about Canada and Justin through them. Let you in. <laughs> let you in. No, no. Let me. Tell, I, I can't tell you about <clears> this. <throat> Cassie, have your shirt. So no, and because we noticed that you're doing all of the yes. exercise thing by virtue of data, what you share on the platform, realize that you're spinning. That shirt you have need to know. So that is information that have, you know. You see, it's information that we gather now from from yes. from all of that big data to make informed decisions artificial yes. intelligence not necessarily mean <clears throat> there there's no need for human beings right and understand what but where value is coming from that sooner or later some of the jobs will not humans will no longer be required to do those jobs because guess what mm. it's predictive all right so it, as we move along the line of predictive technology right where technology can determine when whether or not you're in distress you need a bit of extra hand and they can and it can step in i use it it can step in and think ahead of you so yeah. that you have an extra layer of comfort mm. my thing is this there's good 
and there's bad. Now let us let, let, let us wait up. The way the world is going right now, each generation has got their own technological birth. All right? We did grow up with, with transistor radio, a track, and all these kind of things. Yes. We have children yes. right now with one touch. Scrolling finger. It's all about the finger. So, are, are we going to be very resistant when we have no control over mm. the things that have control over us? So, we have to be in the frame of mind that we are a part of a technological advancement that will also support mm. us and we have mm. that autonomy to say no, no, we can't be too dependent on this, but we have to understand yes. how don't let us not get down to artificial intelligence just yet. Big data. The whole thing about your mm. footprint, what you do online, your digital footprint. And that is what is analyze your habits, your tendencies to dictate the trend. Sorry. Uh, mm. Okay? We have to... We, no. Is it that we're going to sit here and say, look, we're not, mm. we're not going to embrace it? Because we're using technology now. And the topic that we are discussing can be something that the artificial... Uh, is is sort of re rendering, it's sort of spinning a bit. Think it, no, no. No, man, go ahead, Silburn. I don't understand when I join, <laughs> when, when, whenever I join, you know, this, this whole problem yeah. here. Let me ask you a question, Corey. You are saying that if we just gonna sit here and um, just take what they're saying and... and... Sorry, we Silver, I'm having you. trouble. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hearing you, and I'm not sure if, 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 if you are hearing me. A while ago. Yeah. Yes. So I was asking you a question. Can you hear me? Uh, Corey, Vita want to ask you a question. Can you hear her? Can, can you hear Vita, Corey? Okay, Vita, go ahead. Oh, you, oh. Said, you said some, you mentioned something that if we just yeah, man, run I can, I can with, hear uh, Vita now. technology yes. and just do whatever they say. Do you think that you have a choice as far as not using technology and being this world? Yes, you can. But you're going to be one of the ignorant ones that not using it because if you remember the days, we used to use floppy disk, we used to use jump drive, right. um, CD. And look where we are right now. So if you decide you're not using it, you, um, you're, you're, you're refusing from using it, what's going to happen to you? I do. I All do. right, let me let me throw it back at you, Vita. Do you use knife and fork? Okay. To eat. All right, that's technology. Okay, that's technology right there. So let us let let, let us separate um, technology. Okay. And technological advancement as it reaches the as it relates to digital technology. All right. Now, we we require. A helping hand in this life where we say you need to work harder, not harder. It has allowed digital technology to predict our emotions and also have a say in in how we operate in our daily living. Mm. It's an algorithm that has always been put together because of our footprint. All right, the sites that we visit. Right? The conversation that we have, the, the, the words that we type on a screen, right? All of these, all of these platforms, they are trained to collect certain data from it. You may think it's intrusive, mm. but Virgil of, of agreeing to use in the platform. Yes, boss, you're not for yarn, yarn at all. Right? I saw the thing said. I saw, I saw it. I saw it said, and this is this, this is not one one mm. man advancing a, a particular agenda to scare monger everybody, right? To scare people not to use technology. We have to be fair, right? We have to be fair. We have to mm. be reasonable, mm. brethren, because we're using we're using this platform, and then we're going to be the platform, right? Right? And then what 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 
if we are separated from family members, we need to communicate with family Sorry, members. What, what are you going to use to communicate with them? Are you not going to communicate with them? What? And by virtue of the things that you say or the things you may not say, but, AI Sorry. is there to interpret your facial expression. The facial expression, okay, can you hear? right? I'm, Let's it, it's being trained. Big data is out there. Yeah, man. Corey, are you hear me? Corey, are you hear me? Go ahead, Corey. Yeah, I, ahead, I, Sorry. I, I yeah, agree I'm, with I'm, you wholeheartedly, yeah, man, one million percent. Yeah, man. Um, what I want to say is that a lot of people don't understand the levels of control that technology now have over our lives. Now, I've seen persons who are friends for 20, 30 years, and because you put up a photograph, and a hundred persons like it. You were the person's friend for 30 years, never like it. But you like somebody else's picture who you know for five years. Your friend of 30 years is upset with you because you like, you like that new friend of photograph. And you never like mm -hmm. photograph or mm -hmm. him photograph. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Let's and to do with technology that just pure pettiness that's bad minded <laughs> no 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 it is it is it is it is the algorithm that is programming us that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. validation by clicking a like button so 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 I, I i have seen where people are trying to cancel other people right i have seen where the prime minister of jamaica page the page of the prime minister click like on a beautiful girl in a bikini on a beach and then want to cancel the prime minister and him shouldn't click on a, a kind of him wife and him married. Remember, you know, it's a liking click. These algorithms it's not are... Him, are con the, the people who are controlling his platform. Yeah, yeah. I did Nesta Morgan do. You know, everybody knows. You know what I mean? But did, what he, I'm, did, he, did he DM her? No. No, it's not, it's not him a controlling page. You know, he, he have his own private page. But what I'm saying is mm -hmm. that we are being controlled. So, it, so imagine in, in a real life, you know that person, you know, but the person never click like on your photograph mm -hmm. and they click like on somebody's photograph and you go vexed with the person in a real life because digitally they never click like on your photograph. That's you know, and, and, and these are some of the things that is happening. Mm -hmm. Second point, I see natural beauty mm -hmm. talking about Jesse Ventura taking out computer out of car. Jesse Ventura, as long as he's alive and breathing, him cannot avoid usage of modern technology. No matter what natural beauty wants to set him can do it, can you have to go on an ATM machine? Mm. You cannot avoid using technology now. Um, five years ago, when I, I decided to sign up for the TSA cleared, where I don't join the line, I just go to the um, expedited. Everybody was saying I was wrong and I was letting the government control my everything. And um, I just didn't, I travel a lot. I just didn't want to wait in line. Mm. And now I see other people are doing it who are criticizing me that I shouldn't have done that. Would you want to believe it or not? The government already have everything about you. So if that's the secrecy that you're looking for, now, how you, how you conduct yourself is another situation, you know, because you know you go to a certain website, then Google would say, because you've been here, you might like this. You know, so the, the fact is that it's how you control your footprint in, in technology, in, in social media. But so Vita, even, even this privacy thing, people are talking. You remember, I remember a few years ago when, when Jamaicans, uh, when they, they, they need this ID, it was, it was being introduced to Jamaica, and many persons, including the, the Queen's opposition, was talking about the privacy of Jamaicans, right? Yes. And I'm saying, you can't have a smartphone and talk about privacy. Thank you. Thank you. You cannot mm. have a... Because if you take a photograph... I, excuse me. If mm. you take a photograph yeah. of, of yourself, or take a selfie of yourself, that is in the Google database. Yes. Right? And there's no information that <clears> you <throat> have on yourself that the government don't already have or, or that, the, that the government cannot access. Yeah, you know, I, I think I think the key thing, Corey and guys, is uh, how are how are people able to deal with the pressure? Because there's a clear mental health factor 
which they're talking about. And also, recently, the whistleblower for Facebook is saying that Instagram, based on their study, has shown the impact of social media and the mental health of young people. That person there who also mentioned in Leicester that their friend of five years, they clicked, and the one of 30 years, they didn't, and the one get upset with them. I've seen people come out on Instagram sometime or Facebook or social media cussing out people because they don't like their stuff. Yeah. And that is that is something I believe is a bit crazy in, in a way. And uh, it is how people came out. Because lots of people are going depressed, man. <laughs> They're getting depressed. But it's a reality. It's a reality of it. Isn't it, Corey? The reality you're dealing with. Silver, it's, it's, you know, so, you, you know so people get depressed, Silver. But I thought, like, seriously depressed yes. because they put a photograph and nobody not like the photograph at all. Mm. It, it's not like they click a dislike, you know. Nobody reacted over the photograph, mm. and the person got depressed, seriously depressed over nobody reacting to their photograph. Yes, but but so, something happens to some, something happened to me quite quite con, quite often on Facebook. I would put a post about Marcus Garvey or Black history or African history. Nobody reacts to it, or, or little of nobody reacts to it, and in in it. It no matter to me, I'll put it up for, for, for sharing my knowledge. You know? Don't worry, people watch. People, people see. People see. Go on. Yeah, talking. but yeah. What, what, what happened is that I, I would make a post where some people may deem un, unworthy or, or unkind, you know? And when you see the, 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 the gamut of reaction it gets and people so, uh, said that they might call me out on this and you know, they might unfriend me and they might cuss me. And I may mm. say, and they say, oh, my uncool son, me this and me that. And I'm saying, why is it that when I put a post, because like every day, I post at least three job offerings that either by the government or the private sector in Jamaica. At least, every day, at least three available jobs are skill. You know? Mm. And no, the same persons were on my Facebook every day. Yeah. Right? Never react. Yeah. To these job offers to share it, yeah. you know, or, but, or to, but, but, but to, listen, to, to like it. Listen, that's human nature. That, that's a human nature thing. I mean, what's your I, name? I know. Hold on. Natural Beauty said her girlfriend doesn't have any social media account. That's her girlfriend. Natural Beauty has said as well that she wants to go to a human being when she goes to the supermarket or, or the airport or whatever like that. Personally, when I go to the supermarket sometimes, I would want to go to somebody. Sometimes I don't want to talk to nobody. I just want to go to that 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 machine there. I, I don't want to talk to nobody. I like sometimes that's just how I feel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, so, I, yeah. And, and I'm glad for the option. <laughs> yes, yes. I have option. I love that. Why natural beauty never comes on? And, why you don't come on and talk to us? No, she. Yeah, natural beauty. You know, I think the last time wasn't she? No, it wasn't she. Somebody said no. She come, natural beauty has come she, on she, before. She, she, she come on. She come on before, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Corey, Corey, Corey are you there? Yeah. I think Corey is just watching us like like um artificial intelligence for the time being. <laughs> like Big Brother, like, like Big Brother. Well, I want some artificial intelligence. It make it make my life more easy. I love I love to be organized. Um, I, I, excuse me if I want to be in control and um time management and and make sure that I'm organized. Um, AI have helped me a lot, and um, move away from Excel. Who used to manage me and now to AI? I love it. I welcome it. it it's 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 what I do now. So Super it, never invites you on. I always invite you on. Um, natural beauty. Oh, no, keep, my yeah. turn now. We we'll start that out next time. Yeah, Corey, are you there? Are you just being big brother uh, tonight? Yeah. <laughs> Corey. You know, you know, Wayne Ferran just said mental health is mentally affecting even some outgoing people. It's really a serious issue. The mental health thing is really, is, is really bad out there, I, I must it's, say. It's bad. It's really bad. What about, bad what about in the medical fraternity? What, sorry, what about in the medical fraternity? Doctors the medical all the... field, we, see, we see doctors committing suicide. Wow. Um, my big thing now is children committing suicide, and it's because of social media. Wow. It's, no, it's not because. It's part of social media contribute to it. Because parents... People are not parenting anymore. There's no way that your eight-year-old should be on the World Wide Web. Are you not monitoring them? So, therefore, mm. uh, parenting...
Yeah, but bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. No, man, bring it, bring it. Man, because um, I don't know why I think my friend. You're just being a big brother tonight, Corey. It's a service. It's a service. I don't know why my think my friend. To a higher level. <laughs> Corey, you need to step up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have different level of, 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 um, of service, you know. <laughs> you <laughs> you <should listen. laughs> different level of service. You say, you say, you say. That, that can be that can be interpreted in so many ways, but you know. Like that. <laughs> Corey, yes, all right, Corey, we we touch base again. Uh, see if I can sort of Corey. Bring natural then. beauty. Yeah, Corey, Corey, go upgrade and come back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but. Have any one of you guys ever the movie called Harriet? Yes, you have seen Harriet. Harriet, that's the um, the, um, the the slave there. This, um, who, who, Is that who said, Harriet Tubman? Harriet, yeah, and who said that if my people, if they know they were actually, um, what was it if they knew that they were actually slaves or free or something like that? I forget that terminology which is being used. Um, but yeah, I watched it a couple of times. Yeah, young lady. Um, what was I'm too much. I'm sorry, what was it saying? Kirsten, as I forget the saying, but I'm going to ask Kirsten. No, but Harriet, Harriet yeah. Tudman said that she had yeah. freed over a thousand slaves, but she could have freed a thousand more if the if the slave didn't know that they were not slaves. Mm. Okay. okay. Because right. like, mentally, they the, didn't yeah. know that they were they, they didn't they didn't know that they were not slaves. They didn't know that, and and it it, it goes back to that book that book that I sent Silver um Silver emancipate yourself from mental slavery. Yes, 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 yes. Because, yeah. Yes, yes. That book is a very powerful book because if the fact is that there's a lot of people put limitation on them uh, on themselves, and even with the social media, as I was saying, like parents have a lot to do with the social media because what happened is um children. Who are committing suicide? I don't understand that. I, 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 I know it's happening. I'm seeing it every day because I work with them. But for children to think that children are supposed to be so happy and so free and have no worries in the world, so when children are stressed out, that they think that this is too rough or this is too hard for them, so therefore they prefer to 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 take their own life. To me, I'm still baffled by children thinking that life is too hard. Children are supposed to be happy and free. Yes. So what is going on? Jody lives in her car. Jody lives in her car. Jody not her house. Jody, I have, I have free rooms, babe. You're welcome anytime. <laughs> I guess she. she... No, I, Jody, I, 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 have a three bedroom house of Portland, Jody Lacko. I think I'm she's like, also. Can I, be... when I go down? I think she's been like Corey. She's um she was being a god a while ago. I'm watching. Yeah, no, I don't want to touch her while she's driving. So let let her keep driving. Um, sorry, you you're saying a while ago. Who was saying something? What a bit... Yes, what I was saying is that um. I am baffled because every day, every 12 o'clock, every day, I have a meeting with census in my hospital, the children's hospital. And yeah. I am baffled by, I have to find, I need more psychiatrists. I need, we need more space for the, 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 the mental ward. Children, we have to be provided for children. So explain to me where, oh, how old is your daughter, um, Silvern? Uh, nine. And she's supposed to be so happy and so free and not worry about anything. And then at that age, at nine years old, you're committing suicide. Why? Yes. You know, you know, the, the, <clears throat> there's a pressure which is on, and that is, and that, and this is where social media also can play plays a part in the whole process of the infiltration, whereby their mind has become possessed with the things of the world which is not necessary, and. I believe, you know, growing up in Jamaica, growing up in Australia, one of those happy, but lucky, free, running outside, playing football, playing marble. Um, I remember um, Jenny, Jenny last week was saying about Prips, and I was listening to the video, and Prips, the Prips, Prips was, was marble. You know, you know marble, Lester? The nice, yes, pretty I marble. I, I, they call me a, yes, yes. Prips. Yeah. 
Yes. Super, why you ask, ask me to something super, super bad now? 70s in the super bad. I never know. I don't know, because, you know, I don't know. You know, you know you're, a, you're a baby. That's why he's asking you. <laughs> um, Wayne Ferrand, the children are not growing up, but they are bombarded with grown-up things, even to make grown-up decisions by themselves. Now, that is a fundamental point, because that is even what is happening now when they are saying children can go ahead and make certain decisions. It, it is so great when a child can be so happy and so go, happy-go-lucky. I remember growing up, I never knew if my parents lacked anything because they protected us, they covered us, so we don't have to see these things. I'm sure they must have had issues, but there was a covering which was there for my mother and father. But I'm not speaking from my perspective growing up in Ultraverse. And, and I believe that children of today should be protected in a way that they don't have to be exposed to certain things. What is going on in school now, it's penetrating their minds that after they come home now, they're asking certain questions. Not that the questions are supposed to be asked. But I, I think there's a level of protection which is needed for children. And I think as adults and the system, we are failing. As a child care practitioner legally, um, I, I think as well, one of the things they call this emotional harm. I've seen many ways that one can blame the government and the system for actually, um, what I call it, emotional harm to children based on some of the pressures that they are giving upon them. And that is not just with the social media. And, and, and that is where the problem is, where they are, as I said, growing up a bit too early. That's one of my thought process on that. Uh, uh, because I remember I took my 13 year old and, and you know Jamaican we grew up a certain way we just think that we rule the world coming to America I have my 13 year old took her to the doctor the doctor told me oh mom you have to step up there are some questions I have to ask her that she might not answer in front of you and I said and what is that you're gonna ask her well I have to ask her if she's sexually active I said I'm gonna stay right here you're gonna ask her whatever you're gonna ask her she's 13 under my care and i'm not going to leave her here alone so you mm. ask her what you want to ask her whether she answer or not is a different factor but i'm not you can't tell me she have the rights mm. no so my child i'm protecting my child so and whether she's sexually active or not is a different situation so you don't tell me i have to step up because she have a right i parent my kids mm. people are not parenting the kids i'm not gonna do like uh what's his name ti and check if there's a hymen that's a whole different story but <laughs> <laughs> i like what that's your beauty said kick up my life. <laughs> i like what that's your beauty said kick up my <laughs> yeah, but the yeah, fact is that we have to hear it. We have to hear it. Jody, have the echo. Jody, have the echo. The echo. No. 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 Okay, no. And it's not like a Jody have a big SUV, you know. It's not like a big car where the car echo, you know. Is it? Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, good. One, two, three. Jody? Jody, you here. Jody, okay. Jody, Jody, both of them. Okay. Well, not here, Jody. Jody, you must be a millionaire because you work 24 7. And she see, she see, well, if I'm money, by not paying mortgage, rent, or no. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I can't diss my virgin like that, man. What I'm saying. <laughs> she she says she don't like come on for the show now. That's what she said. <laughs> Jody. Okay. Jody, we're gonna let you try to come back in, yes? I get a headphone, Jody, or something. Pull get over, a headphone. Jody, pull over. Pull over or something, Jody. Let, let, let her come back in. Okay, let, let's let's go. Wow, well, time has gone so far. But you know? but but, but Silver, mm, um, mm. I, I want to show you something. Okay, you touched on something earlier, and we're talking about raising kids and all that with social mm. media. I'm going to say something, and 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 I know a lot of people have not put this together, right? The basketball star for the Miami Heat, Dwayne Wade, former basketball star. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. He, he's married to um, Gabriel. Gabriel Union. All right. Mm. Now, Dwayne has a 
son or daughter, whichever way you want to put it, at, uh, he's 13 or 12 or something like that. Yeah. Right? So his son name is Zion, and the son wanted to, wanted to have a, a gender change. So them start call him now her and call her Zaya. Right? Mm. And so, you know, Dewey and say, oh, she's expressing herself and she's beautiful and this and that and all them something there. And I mean, a lot of people have backlash and say, yes, um, you know, Dewey and them now, them, them rich and them now got them put in the right way. And other people are say, and them support the way and way and you know, empower um her for make a decision. Now, for me, I I looked deeper into it and said there's a bigger issue at hand here that that Dewey and, and Gabriel is not is not talking about. And when some say, you know what, let, let me not just get into the, the mix of things, let me just investigate. Now if Dewey and Wade had stepped in and said, no, you cannot have a sex change or a gender change, pers- gender change, right? The economic backlash that he would have gotten would be catastrophe to his career as a businessman. No, yeah. he, he's, put, he's putting out books. Gabriel Union putting out books. They're producing films together, right? They have fashion. Not only that, too, there are no minority owners in the Utah Jazz basketball um, franchise. Now, when you're looking at these deals that they're doing, you know, it's not just nine months or five months or two months. A year is a lot of these deals taking you know, mm. up, right? Got to be a minority owner in any sports franchise in America, right? These deals go on back and forth for years sometimes, right? And imagine if he had said, no to his da- his son. Mm. They would have cancelled him and all that money, millions would have gone down the drain. Right? So, so he has to calculate it and say, support my son turning into a girl, right? And at the end of the road, you're going to have all these billions. Right? And it is, it is, but guess what now? The same 13 year old cannot drive. Mm. Cannot vote, cannot buy property, cannot do none of them something like this. But mm. you can allow them to make an important decision as gender change. Mm. Say, oh. Hello, guys. Can you Here hear we go. me? There she is. There she is. Hey, hey can you guys hear me? Can you hear yes, me? Yes, yes, yes. Cool. No, you're not off the show. You're not off the show. You're not off the show. We can't hear you. Okay. <laughs> All right. I just went through a little surgery, so I'm going to have to put on my hat coming to look presentable right now. Oh, yeah, but when you're talking about this... You are beautiful. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but when you're talking about this subject, I had to come in. I had to yes. chime in on this one. Because, first of all, I'm not down with that. Mm. Number one is the age of the child. Mm. If it was a girl, would you have her wearing those nails at age 12? Not my daughter. Okay. Mm. My daughter's not wearing lipstick and eyeshadow and everything that at the age of 12. Mm. So why are you going to have your little boy now who feels like he's a girl wear them things there? No. Mm. You wait until either you're of age or you're out of my house. I'm sorry. Mm. You see, the problem is with our society right now, we feel that sexuality is above humanity, your race, okay? Humanity mm. and your race, and yeah. also your nationality. It's not above that. We need to start put sexuality to the side now because mm. this is what um, you, the, um, the society is running on, is sexuality. That's it. And what's wrong with sexuality? You have to be at a certain... It's, it's not wrong with sexuality, but that's not the first thing on your list. It should be. It should be thinking about your nationality, mm. your race, and humanity. We don't want to deal with no sexuality on them levels. There, fire for mm. that right now. Okay, so, fire and, for that. And see, and see, I am not thing. down with Gabrielle Union because because it's not her child. The child's mother can't even see him. 
Oh, wow. Support the child mothers against that. Gabriel Union is pushing this. I'm no, not down for that. No, 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 down no, for no, that. no. I don't agree with you on that. What, ha what happened, and the way I grew up in Jamaica, we in I Jamaica, hear. we in Jamaica, see, the, the, the way we grew up in Jamaica, we grew up thinking that we are so superior to the rest of the world. And what we think is the only thing that's right. I grew up mm -hmm. in a community that if you are gay, they beat you to death. If you break into somebody else, the whole community call out thief and the whole community beat you to death. That's where I came from. Now, mm -hmm. coming to America, I have to have a more open mind. And the way that you want to raise your child is the way you want to raise your child. I have no say in judging you. And I'm not going to judge them for the way that they choose to raise their mm. child. What I think is right might not be right. What you think is right might not be right. So what we need to take ourselves away from is judging other people the way that they treat themselves. You're not done for that. My daughter wanted to do a pierce, to pierce her, um, her navel and do a tattoo when she was 18. I told her, you pierce your, your navel or you do a tattoo, you, I change the lock on that door. You're not coming in here. At 18, I told her that. Me personally, growing up at 18, I could not even date. You, you, and I was in college. That's the way we were mm. brought up. It's a different era now. It's different now. Yeah, it's and different we, now. Just like, just like technology, we have to stop being judgmental. So can I just and ask this not, question before? I, I don't see it as judgmental. Mm. I just see it as, just like how you said, your daughter at age 18, she couldn't put a piercing or, or a tattoo on. There is, this is why our kids are the way they are right now and what is happening to them right now, okay? Mm. My daughter at the age of 9, 10, 11, 12, she couldn't wear no makeup. She couldn't wear no false fingernails and them thing. Eh? So you're going to tell me now, you're, you're, listen, I don't promote violence. I, I don't think that nobody's supposed to be um, someone if they come out and they say they get, they're gay. I have mm. plenty of gay friends. But there comes a point that you got to draw a line as a parent. Okay? Mm. Me, nobody not going to tell me that them bond are weird. That's your choice. It is your choice. No, 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 no. Nobody being judgmental right now. No, but you said nobody not tell me that. It, but, that is your choice. But Vita, she just said it. What? Vita, she said it. It's her. It's your choice. It's a person's choice. So it, it, it's taking it away. Um, what what natural beauty is saying? Nobody can tell her that. But then it's their choice. Right. right. It is right. your so choice too. But me just that. say, uh, I'm, I'm just saying. As a child, he's what, 11, 12? That's Zaire or whatever, I'm 11, 12. Them should not let them kid do that. Well, no. You can't say that. If that's, he that's wants true. to be, if, if him feel like Lisa. him gear, him feel like him gear, all well and done. But for you to say you want to go to transitional transitions now at age 12, 9, 13, that you can get, can reach age 20 and don't feel like him want to be a girl no more. You can't do that. Something is happening. There's a, like that. There, there's a case in the UK before guys are coming. There's a case in the UK, if I'm not mistaken, where a child is taking back the, yes, the, the medical case. to court because of the fact that they should have actually done some more work with him or her before, before they, actually, they let them transit. Before they went the transition. Okay? And he's and trying to he go really back to now. Yes. Age now. You yes. shouldn't do that. At the age yes. of 12, kids' mind is not that developed. It's not that developed yet. So let me read 2021. And then mm. feel like, oh, junk. What, what, yeah. Why did your parents let you go through that transition? No. You wait yeah. until you get on your own if you want to yeah. pay your money and you do it fine for you. But you're not going to transit in my house. If you want, mm. if you say you're gay, I'm not going to fight you. I'm not going to bash you. Yeah. I, I mean, they'll feel a way that I have a boy and then they yeah. say you want to be a girl. You understand me? But yet yeah. still, you're not going to transit in my house. Hell no. All right, because you might change yeah. your mind down the line. Let's go to Gaza and I'll, um, I'll bring in something um, after you. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, natural beauty, I agree with you one million percent. Not under my roof. But let, but let me say this to you. You see, the problem I have with the thinking of that community is that they keep saying, I feel like a boy, or I, I feel like a girl. I feel like. Right? All right? Can I get up one day? I say, you know, so I feel Chinese. 
Exactly. Pong 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 Yes. You, you, but, if but, you look, but, research it, me too, you know that they're all behind it. The LGBTQ, guys, guys, I work in the medical queer, field. this, there that, that. How much alphabet down the line? <laughs> guys, no, no, no. I work in the medical Vita, field. If I, if, Vita, hold on, quick question, Vita. If I in, uh, live in the United States and me say, you know, I feel like a white man today, I feel like more of a more change with ethnicity to being a white man. I'm not going to change, not me, you know, right? You can never feel like a white man. You can no, hold can't on, do it. No, you, no, you, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, let, no, 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 no. Let, let me ask the question. Let, let me finish the question. Okay. It's a long and question. And if I, if I, if I, if I, if I change that and legally I, I tell people that I am a white man, right? Would that then give me the white privilege or the protection of white privilege? No. What so you should America ask yourself is. Would it, it that does that turn you into a white man for real? It doesn't. Okay, okay, well, there's okay. multiple it factors right here. Multiple you're still black right no here. matter all your feet. And Michael, still and Michael black. Justin did that, did not do that. Vita. Mm. Hi, okay, Dean. So Hi, Dean. How are you? Uh, go on now, um, Vita. Yes, so there's multiple factors, guys. Multiple mm. factors, and I'm gonna go back to the, the gender situation. There are a lot of people that born with both genders. Mm. There's a lot of people that when you look at them, you don't know if they're male or female. There's mental situation that they're dealing with. There's no identity because they're not male or they're not female. They have both um, genitals. So therefore, they have to choose. So mm. there's mental situation. That's a that... different case. Come on, Vita. But, That's but, a different wait case. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're coming from the factor where a person is saying, although I look like a female, and I'm going to tell you, I look like a female, but, but there's sometimes there's some things that I want to do, and they're saying, Oh, you can't be a lady and do that in Jamaica, right? <laughs> so that's, that's a tomboy different thing. That's a whole. That's I a, was that's a tomboy. A... I played cricket. I played soccer. All that. Ride, ride the dirt bike and all that stuff when I was growing up. But I loved the feminine side and dressing up and be a female. But when it come, I play soccer. I play golf. I go fishing with the guys and all that stuff. Uh, that part of it. But what I'm saying to you is that look at this clinical side and mental mm. side to it that there are a lot of people when you look at them, you yourself will not know. Is that a male or a female? They are both genitals. So therefore, they have to make a choice at some point of what they choose to be. Maybe That's some rare. That is rare. No, it's not. It's, it's, no, it's, it's not. not. You, 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 women, hold on. You're say, Vita, you're saying no, like these people that you see is transitioning have both um gender. Not it, all it of don't them. work. Not so. all of them. And it's Not very rare. Them. It's very rare that you find the that what you call them Afro uh, What you call them Afro That's the Jamaican Afro word that you're going for. The Aphrodite or whatever the case is. But on a Jamaican but word, them use it over here in a, in America too. But, right but here in America, fact them is use that it there are a lot of babies that born that way, and the mm. parents choose which one. Um. They want to, to make which one they okay, want at that time. point when they're at infant, that... when they're just born. But All what right. if the parent choose the wrong one? Okay, so I born with you. You're really, with... but 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 the cases that we are seeing in the U.S., the cases that we are seeing in the U.S. is not cases like that, Vita. Come on, now. Vita. Bruce, it is Bruce, not cases Bruce like Jenner. That. Bruce Jenner what, what was born. Yeah, uh, uh, Bruce, Bruce Jenner. Bruce Jenner. Big Wayne was a football player, a runner. A no, I remember. Try a talent or something like so. Yeah. Big, big trap to my nose. Big trap to my nose. I'm not saying it's right and wrong. What I'm saying is that we need to take ourselves away from judging. I'm not not judging. It is not judging. It's but, what but, is happening in the society right but, now. That's why we're so freaked but, up in our society right but, now. Do what I would freak up. But, but Vita, Vita, hold on, Vita, hold on, hold on, Vita. Vita, no, Vita. Vita, no, Vita. Why, no, 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 what, what I'm saying, no, what I'm saying, Vita, why not then allow children, right, who feel like they want to drink, I feel like the mouth is smoke. Exactly, Gaza. Remember, exactly. I feel it, you know. 
Why, why we don't allow them to drink and smoke and, and, and carry a firearm and drive? But look, at this, look at this. In Jamaica, in Jamaica, and, and guys, there's a book I want you all to, if you have a time to read, it's called The Prophet. And The Prophet, it says, we are the vessel that brought the right that. here. Years we, ago. They are, we are not, we are the vessel. We don't own our kids. They are just a human being like us. We, so what we do, we said, my child have to be a doctor. And we push them into to be a certain way. But we, are, different, we don't different, own that... our kids. Mm -mm. We don't own our, we don't Vita. Own our Vita. kids. I mean, right. never force none of my people them for being nothing. Right. So we have to let Listen, them be. The way I grew up is a different way only grow my youth them up. Okay? Because mm. me tell my mother all the time, Whenever she talk, you are still living in the dark days. We grew up in the dark days. We ain't in no mm. dark days no more. Okay, mm. right. this and is different time now. So you gotta in grow Jamaica. your kids them up. Go ahead. Yeah, in Jamaica, I, I was a straight A student, right? I don't get beaten for for like in school or whatever. I just want to like, hear you. do what I have initially to do stuff so i didn't really get beaten for say like but in jamaica the first thing i see so many of my friends they get beaten every day and and they turn out like 10 times worse than the person who don't get beaten so the way that we look at stuff and the way that we were brought up we have to take ourselves away from that and and, and be up more open-minded and less judgment i am i am one Vita, of the most open-minded person vita, vita you know, I'm most... Sister, what is your question Vita, darling vita, I, I, let, let me ask it again you're saying we're not to be judgmental so why are we then judging children on the fact that they can't smoke tobacco they can't smoke marijuana they can't smoke cocaine hold on let me finish the question they can't drive a motor vehicle they can't um, go into the store and buy alcohol and they can't vote. Why are we judging children in that sense then? Why, why is there, why, why is there, why is there an age limit? Why is there an age limit? Why is there age limit? Exactly, guys. Go back to a mental development. So there are certain age that you develop certain, um, What's the word? You develop certain, the way you develop. So it go back to the development of mm. a child. So <clears> therefore, <throat> the child is developed a certain way. It, you have to, it, it's about 25 years before your cognitive um, dissonance is developed. And sexuality don't come under that too? Uh, pardon? Sexuality, sexuality don't come under that? Come on and eat that too. Uh, uh, yes, but the fact is that we can't even talk about that because in Jamaica, when they say uh, you give a, a child content that 14 make me sick, because what happens that, that, that is not true, Vita. That is not what, true. What's the age uh, in Jamaica? 16. It's 16, 16 now. Oh, it was 14. Now. Oh, wow. No, two it was 14 years, back. Wow, different. It was 14 back. back in the 70s, um, Gaza. It's 16, it, it turned mm. 16 in the 80s. It it's was 14 same. back. It was 14. So okay. even yeah. that, even uh, that. And, and, it was, it was coming from 21. What? Excuse me? It was coming from 21, yes. When you well, it was coming from 21, I don't understand. When I was growing up, it was anyway, 14. It, it, because I remember mm. growing up in Jamaica, yeah, I was 14. I was 60-something-year-old men trying to date me. It was 14. It was, it was 14, 14 when I was growing up. You're and at, that's why we have a rape culture in Jamaica right now. It was 14. That's why Jamaica have a rape culture right now. Yeah. Okay. So, and that's why I, you find back in those days, uh, you have a lot of sixteen-year-old that used to have babies. That mean that them are school from fifteen, fourteen. All right. <laughs> so, so the fact is that up. in Jamaica, in Jamaica, the fact th that fact because when I came to America, you look at the sixteen-year-old, you're going to jail, which I love, jail. and I wish they would do that in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And 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 that's and that, that, that's not necessarily true, Vita, because many states. Over over thirty states allow children under the age of eighteen to be married with the consent of their parents. Particularly, hold, hold on, hold on. Especially mm -hmm. in a Utah and other states, especially for religious reasons or cultural reasons, many children can be married as young as fourteen in and the United States of America. I was gonna say there is a situation, which is another situation. Yeah, that's the different Jamaica, thing. When you mentioned the that's why Fim asked that, that uh, um, the Utah, where where I call the um, where you call them the. <laughs> Mormons, Mormon. the Mormons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's why them have a tear on theme camp because it was rape. It's rape. It is rape. Well, it's it's rape. Well, it's it. Every time yeah. you have a birthday, mm. every time you have a birthday, you always have 
the cake, which our cake have rum in it, and you always have a drink. So in my family, I don't know about the rest of the world, but in my family, every we celebrate, we are huge on birthdays. We celebrate birthdays. And every time it's your birthday, you have your cake. And of course, the Jamaican cake have rum in it. And we also have that red label wine where you start sipping from your like three or four. So you take yeah. a sip of it. The, the family. Part, in my family, we do. Not my family. You have to take it. Yeah. Whether, you, whether you choose to do it or not, you know, but it was there. So, uh, and, and, and because of that, you notice in Jamaica, you don't have a lot of alcoholic. You don't have a lot of... Exactly. Um, yes. In Jamaica, the, the, the weed and the marijuana, you don't see a lot of kids smoking mm. it because it's the freedom of, of a choice that they can do it, but they choose not. Where compared to America, you have the kids trying to hide. Once you tell me I can't do it, I'm going to do it. And that's a human nature. Well, I think that's a human well, nature. All well, the kids <coughs> are like that. <coughs> well, you see, what, what I'm picking up here, and as you're climbing down, is that there's confusion. And, you know, there, there's, the world is messing us up at the same time, messing up children. It is. You know, yes, and I believe I believe that uh, as someone said, teach a child the way to grow up. So when they grow up, they won't depart from it. And I believe that parents have a fundamental responsibility to bring their child up in the best way. And I hate it when I see government organizations trying to take away that right from parents as much as possible. Let me tell you this: in cases which I do, when it comes on to adoption, parents never agree or seldom agree to adoption. It's always wait for the court to dispense with their consent by something called a placement order based on the placement application that the local authority will make. And why is that? It's because parents never want, when that child grow up, that child is going to read the papers and that child is going to say that you actually consented. They don't, the parents don't want to see that child read that. So therefore, <clears throat> it only points that Parents should know what is the best thing for that child. So I go back to that case of Gabriel Union and the geezer there. Most children are going to grow up at some point and they're going to resent their parents for allowing these things to happen. Because when a child is growing up and a child is doing something, what we do as a parent now, don't do that. This is the reason why I do it. I've been there before. And I believe in that we have to make sure that we do. We have to resist. We have to resist sometimes some of the pressure which is coming from us from the top. We have to resist. Yeah, and because I we, that... have the government, <clears throat> we have the government in our homes growing <clears throat> our kids. The government <clears throat> are in our homes growing our kids. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> we have a 37-year-old daughter and a 24-year-old. And believe me, we grow them down to earth. We never grow them, you know, tight or whatever, but they're good kids and I'm grow up for being yes. b brilliant kids. You understand? But, you see, for me, <clears throat> um, I have a different point of view. Me own my opinion. You understand me? Me no matter what no want to say. That's right. Me no matter what nobody wants to say. That's right. Me no matter what nobody wants to say. That's right. That's right. From the ah. inner my house, I'm mean, not talking under the age of 18, you know. <clears throat> from the inner my house, me a Castro, the house of Cuba. That's right. Tell all of, tell all of my people that. That's right. So, let's and up till now, my let's son decided right. to move to. Yeah, let's my son decided to move to New York, back mm. to New York because we're I, I'm in Florida now, but I'm from New Jersey, and my yeah. son decided to move back to the Bronx. I mean, that's where his dad is. He moved to the Bronx, yes. and every day I'm tired of me. They call me calling. What are you doing? Make sure you're not on the headphone in your ears, you know, because you have to be alert and know it. Mom, I'm grown, mom. You don't have to call me. Well, Ms. that means I have a 22 year old. I have a 22 year old in New York, a girl, which are with, with my ex husband. I don't call her every day. I trust her to make the right thing because I I grow her the right it's way. It's not. Listen, it's not that you don't trust them. You don't trust the people out there. You understand have, me? And I don't trust my son. They don't trust the other one. Them round him. <laughs> You know, you know, you know, the, the, the reason why I take off the headphones is because my back is going down. Um, something, something I wanted to say about the bit what Lester said was really powerful. Is that even in pity them? Because the <laughs> government did not take part in the process when you and your partner or me and my wife is creating those children. 
Exactly. And, and, and it, it, what, 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 what on Vita? What, what on Vita? When it when you think about it, you know, my two children, come it not playing a part in it. They didn't help me actually. And me and my wife work on that. That's right. Learned. And I and I think that's right. Don't, and, and and God. The mall of your name. What are the mall of your name? What? Exactly. The mall of your name. The mall of your name. That's right. And, and, and they come straight from Ochi. Even though they're born in England. No, no, no. No, no. no, no. no. That's right, Gaza. No. No, no, that's right. I believe in that. You understand me? Okay, no, no, uh, 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 um, um, natural. I'm going to send, I'm going to send Silburn a YouTube video of a documentary that I did, um, 2013. I'm making send it to you. Vita, I'm going to send it to you. And on a lot, just watch a video. I don't know if I don't know if Silver know about this, this I, documentary. That I, 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 I read about it, I saw it at the time. This guy, all right. Thank God, so you can sell it to me. Must you can sell it straight to me, you know? Uh, no, I, I don't have your number, man. Wait, wait, oh, wait, are I, you gonna I, sell I saw, it? I saw, oh, I saw, no. I saw that all, um, actual beauty. Okay. But is it, is, it, is it when when you know, you know, watch that, 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 that video there? Give me a card. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's, it's not mentally it's a different level when I say a different side I'm aware or in a, who, who. let's watch the video mm -hmm. well, <clears throat> well guys listen it was, it was a good one tonight um, I want to thank you so much and natural beauty at least we can mash up that concept that you had about silver and I want to bring you up on the show <laughs> you know, I joke, me, I joke, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but yeah, man. but 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 I I tell you this, it, it's very important. I'm I'm so glad the the powers that be that own the platform allowed things to happen. You know what I mean? And didn't shut us down. But I'm actually coming out very hard against them because, especially with all the fact checking thing. I mean, the fact check. Mm -hmm. you know, I've been burgled once in a. I've been burgled once in the UK. And when I was burgled, what really bothered me so much wasn't the money or anything, was the fact that somebody actually went into my private things. Somebody violated your Someone private violated my And when mm -hmm. my thought and my concept and my thinking and my analytical mind put something out there for people to think on, and then somebody coming in to say, you're... Don't don't do it because... It's wrong they, or it, don't do it because they did, they check it yeah, in and... It, it Who gives the impression and Who it's are you? it's out of context and and I'm saying, hang on a second, didn't we go to primary school to high school and they gave us questions for us to analyze? We didn't get it in proper context. Mm -hmm. We had to Got think to do it our own critical thinking. That's right. Comprehension. But you see, the problem is now is that we don't have critical thinking in school anymore. It's not in class, it's not, not in school anymore. I hmm. had critical thinking when I was coming up in school. Then, yes. then have them course in a school no more critical yes. thinking because they don't want the kids to think anymore. Let me tell you something: you can't even have the kids. I'm going to the library right now and say go into the catalog card to find books. Then when I'm be lost in the sauce, Silver, you have to, you have to. When you use Facebook, they choose what you can publish, what you can what you put can. on their website. The next situation is that why don't you create your own? Well, we I was create, about to say that long, we need we create to create our own. We created it long time. Me and guys are the planet already. We, we create we have our own Facebook Yeah, you guys season. gotta do that, man. You we guys got gotta do time, that. Man. In the Ochi page. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go Ochi, you'll get it right by the beach, you know? Um, no, we have point. to have our own, and that's just it because we're on these people platform. We have yeah. to have our own. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I have it like that. Probably silver and have it like that to say, okay, and, and Gaza and you to Vita. I mean, I have it like that. <laughs> do, do, do you know that Bill for years, our own. Do you know that for years since Facebook came out, there have been so many conversation and discussion about creating a black equivalent of Facebook. Why do you think that hasn't happened? And this is from long time ago. Because the because monopoly of the monopoly of um the, the red tape that you have to go through to get it done is what's happening. Bull crap. Bull what is crap. It? What is it? Do you know how much rich black man we have out there? And black woman we have out there? They must sell out. The whole of them must yeah. sell out. Well, uh, well and, uh, and, and natural, I was about to say that. Because it is not for the lack of resources. 
Because Mark Zuckerberg never rich when he started out. Exactly. No. no. He wasn't exactly. he never, he never rich. He wasn't. He's not, he's not, he's not even college educated. Exactly. <laughs> you understand me? But the neither thing the, is... Neither the Twitter guy, neither the YouTube guys. Um, when but, me and but, something jobs. Neither but, him either. It's, it's, it's he was Steve a dropout. Steve but, Jobs. But, but, but he hold was a on. dropout. But, but, but hold on. You know, you know what, what is important? And somebody said is that OJ, we're talking about OJ, and them say about Puff Daddy too, is that these guys aren't black, they are rich. So because they're so rich, it, it eliminates them ethnicity. And you don't have that in a white community. But once a black man becomes successful on a, on a particular level, in blackness is not in account. It, 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 for him, no it's, it's no more in account for him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember mm -hmm. the famous statement by Michael Jordan that uh, they wanted him to endorse a Democratic candidate in Chicago. And Michael Jordan said, Republican buy sneakers too. So he won't endorse a Democratic candidate. Yes. Right? So, he, so he's not looking at skin color, ethnicity. Is LeBron James come and change it around where as a, as a, as a multi-millionaire um, athlete, in gender, the, 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 the agenda of, of ethnicity, of blackness, I'm, I'm not just an, an, an athlete or stuff like that, and, and, and not just being a millionaire. Because what they do, they try to tell you that um, they're them carrying a them billionaire's club, right? We no longer see Jay-Z as a black man, you know? Yes. <laughs> we no longer see Jay-Z as a black man. We no longer see Dr. Dre and Puffy them as a black man no more, you know? We see them as billionaires. Because this is how we start attached to the need to. We don't call Mark Zuckerberg that, you know. If you notice, we don't we don't put that type of label to Mark Zuckerberg. We don't well, put that type of label to, 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 to Warren Buffet them. We don't put them type of to Jeff Bezos. Right? Mm. He, he's doing wonderful things with Amazon. He, 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 he revolutionized Amazon and him go other bag of things. But we don't necessarily attach and Listen. detach him in, 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 in color from him yeah. because I'm well. Okay. Okay. This, black is, community. this well, is something I hope, that I hope one day I'll be in that field where you don't see me and see a black woman, you just see money. Okay, one day I'll be there too. <laughs> and drinking what? I'm drinking whiskey, I'm drinking crown and ginger. Okay, well, I'm the one for always see me as a more or a maroon. What are you drinking? Um, Miss um, Natural Beauty, Michelle. Some natural juice here that I made. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> and just, just for the record, Natural Beauty is the one that bakes cake. You were mentioning cake a while ago. I didn't say it, but whenever, she has some bashment cake there, man. I mean, <laughs> I, 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 I need her to send some to us. <laughs> Do, you ship them? Do you ship them? No, I don't. I only bake for my family. I love cooking and baking. So I do it for my family and I send it off to other family members. <laughs> okay, so as of today, you adopt me with sisters. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I, Where are you I see, located? Oh, 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 I see my, I'm from, from my documentary. For, for those who want to watch my documentary, Silver, Silver has, has pinned my document, the name of my documentary down below. And, and you, you just thought, my, my battery is going and I don't want to lose this. Um, and there's a talk and sip Facebook page and Facebook group, which will pin that on as well. You can go on to it and get that information. Let's make sure. Okay, so this is on Facebook. Yeah, well, we're going to. No, okay. no, no, no. You're no, going to no, pin it Face on Facebook, you say? There's a Facebook page, which I'm going to ask Lester to make sure that we put the, the link on it. You can join the Facebook page or uh, YouTube, sorry, Facebook page on um, um, for talk and sip. And there's a group page as well. I like page and a group mm -hmm. page. And also what I've done is now loading the shows right after, about a couple of days after. It's going to go on YouTube, mm -hmm. this particular show. But what I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm saving everything, you know, just when you have the lockdown. Mm -hmm. you know, show me I've, I've, I've Vita, done. what state are you located in? I'm in Maryland, baby. Oh, you're in Maryland. Okay. There it goes mm -hmm. now. She's going to get the cake first, Fox. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, it's a close. So I'm getting ready to go out now. There's, right. no lockdown. There's no lockdown here. Bash. We don't have lockdown. I, I'm in the best state ever. We don't have lockdown. Where's that? Ever. It's not, it's we don't have ever. lockdown. And, and, and guess what? We ain't got to wear no mask and we ain't got to take no damn vaccine if we don't want to. All right? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna my, governor, my governor Run. is suing. My go governor is going to charge the, the, the employers. Is that Ron DeSantis? That's, that's, that, yes, that's right. Okay.
Okay. All right, guys. We, we use the word. So let's see if we can save this show before. Let's have a spin. Listen, have a good one. Um, let's big up to Miss my South African virgin in the music called Sweet Corn. All right, Gaza. Natural beauty. Thank you and so much Vita. for giving us your natural beauty. Vita. <laughs> yeah, natural. What's, what are those things? What are those? What are those? What, what's it? People don't listen to that. What's that? Peace. Peace, brother. Oh, yeah, peace. Yeah, yeah, man. The peace sign, brother. Show, 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 Best of big up. Um, okay, guys. Well, listen. That's that's the end of the show. Powerful show. My battery is going, so I said let me just quickly wrap up very quickly. Very powerful and very um, interesting dialogue with um, Natural Beauty, Jody watching us, Corey Hyde there. I think he's saying there's some challenges while he's in Canada there. Um, Vita, Lester, Natural Beauty, and all the persons who came on tonight. Remember, go on to the, the Facebook page, Talk and Sit um, page, uh, Talk and Sit group. Uh, Lester will post the whip in the name of discipline. I've seen that powerful um, thing. Um, you, you can watch it um, uh, as well. And the, the show will also be up on YouTube. Remember to check out Africology. Africology was shown um, in Peckham. On, on the 8th and the 9th today with um, Karim Jamal who was on the show last week. You can watch also the show on YouTube with um, Jenny Jenny and Africology. I think there's some powerful nuggets in it. I was listening to it and I cut off a couple which I'm going to put out there as well. But have a good night. All the best. Peace out. God bless you. Until next time. Saturday night. All the best. Talk and sit. Boom. <laughs> Special music to um, our good man, Theta Cash, all the way from South Africa. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>